Hey, what's up guys? Alone here. So today I want to talk about the new changes on Mercy on the PTR and I've seen a lot of videos talking about how she's going to be killing everyone in her ultimate form Valkyrie. And meanwhile, yeah, for sure she can do some work with her gun. I'm pretty sure that's not how she's going to be played in actual ranked by the better Mercy players. So the whole reason to why Blizzard wanted to change Mercy's ultimate and her kit as a whole is because she's supposed to be the high healing output support that is constantly healing her allies in a team fight to keep them alive. Her old ultimate made that quite a hard thing to do as if you did not get your resurrect off in a fight you weren't always very useful. That's why they gave her a 30 second cooldown to resurrect one person which is very close range so that you have to be in the fight and stay there to use it. So keep in mind, Blizzard has always wanted Mercer to be a strong healing output support that can stay active in the fights at all times. So why would their intent be to make her ultimate just not heal? Just make her fly straight into the enemy team, showing herself off with the massive wings that she now has that glows everywhere, making herself the easiest target ever to kill just to do some damage with her gun. Sure, it's fun to play around with and quick play and all that on the PTR, but I'm fairly certain that the best Mercy players are going to use this as a way of sensing when the team fight is going to happen and get in a safe spot really far up in the sky or around the building and just peek around the corners and heal and damage boost their team meanwhile doing this and then fly in quickly with that super fast Guardian Angel speed resurrect a person every 10 seconds, fly away again and just stay safe. If you just sit back around the building or something and peeking out now and then and healing your team, which heals everyone if they're close to each other with a new beam during the ultimate, you're going to be doing a massive amount for the team fight. and every 10 seconds if you resurrect a person, overall you just staying alive, then doing some damage with your gun is going to be way more effective. Now when I think the gun is going to be used as mercy in the ultimate is if someone goes for you in the far back, for example like Genji comes and flank you, meanwhile you're just sitting back in the air, or a Pharah comes for you, or you know that no one in your team can kill a Pharah, then yeah, you can fly up to her and kill her with your gun, sure, but it's very niche cases and it's mostly just to defend yourself in one versus one cases when no one else in your team is going to do it. Another thing that I think the ultimate will definitely be used for in niche cases like on 2 CP points is getting back to the point really quickly. If you died in the beginning of a team fight on 2 CP, you know how annoying the respawns are and all that and you really do need everyone there to be able to win the fights at most times. If you just spawn and then use the ultimate to get back really really quickly because you fly so fast it's going to be maybe worth it you know in, at the end of the day you can get there and help your team and heal and all that instead of just sitting dead in the spawn with your ultimate not having used it and then you could have won the team fight if you just used it to get there really quickly it's kind of like the senyata ultimate if you're close to a fight you can use it and just run in really quickly and help your team just to get there and maybe win the fight because you are more people on the points when it comes to her viability in games, I really don't see her not being viable at all. I think the new Mercy is going to see play in pretty much every single game. Her ultimate just makes her so mobile that Dive can't really consistently shut her down, which was her issue before. Her healing output and new resurrect mechanic are very solid for pretty much every single setup that you would want to play, but I do believe that she's going to be a bit stronger on offense than defense, so maybe sometimes she will be seeing play on the offense side but not on the defense side. Solo resurrecting on offense is way more effective than on defense as it keeps the momentum going which is the key to succeeding when attacking. Doing that on defense usually just makes the person that you resurrected die again because the enemy is just pushing forward all the time and the person you resurrected is going to be stuck in a place for a certain amount of time meanwhile being resurrected and a very easy target for the enemy to just dive on. So now that she can literally only solo resurrect I for sure think she's going to be the more offensive healer than the defensive one but for sure she's going to work on defense as well because her kit overall just seems very solid. But yeah that's pretty much all for this video that's my thoughts if you disagree or agree with me then let me know in the comment section below and all that and also you can click on the screen right now to see another one of my videos it's probably a masterpiece that I made like back in 1942 or something. We will have to see uh, what I put there. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.